Yang Tel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication. him that the last time he sent the money it was not enough to buy all the provisions oh sorry i forgot to tell him are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions yes, yes. but don't you know about baluo baluo what is baluo baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop and you don't have to worry about the exchange rate. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three, or four bedrooms. All our story buildings, three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Sea View Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, school, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259220 or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Albaka. Albaka, important. Yo, not transfer. Yeah, transfer. Code Okay. What's that? You see, Sorry. I got it. Brilliant, bro. Albaka. Albaka. But I'll not have this Ah, I'm not going to get it. 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 I
forest de biro gambia tonko na lo mbaria bere ka berin ko na fokato bari si kodo ki no ka to ni fo bolon la be 56 branches mo la soda gambia ja ha ka gambia kono ani gambia e bantala bankol ngof kodo ki a bere kodo si fa si fa fo falindiro fo nyaadi lafta mem men na kodi to koto ni kodi maro jannam number one di nyonta an num fanan nata anoda enterprise sotale wala wala min di ko domorol fanan ko fanan be firale de dadi manen domorol di fanan be teat gambia dawda yalo ma fu fa kendol sotale di ha e wo moy wala ha apelen da ma ka ni na lafta nyelan kendol e binaji yalo bu kani la ko la barka ha yalo del tosa no lo barka This week, we will, of course, as usual, look at the major stories of the week. We will discuss politics, and we will also discuss human rights. So, thank you very much for joining us from wherever you are watching us. Uh, it's another week, and we are happy to be here. I'm here with Nima Kamara, of course. Nima, welcome. Thank you. All right. Uh, before we introduce our uh, panelist for this section, let's go straight to the news review first. Uh, me. And Nima, well, the story that really caught my eye, Nima, have been the issue of human rights. That is um, the um, human rights institute, the human rights commission in the Gambia. We all know uh, have been caught in controversy yeah. over whether gay rights should be included in among the rights that they um, said they should protect. There have been a press conference to, for them to clarify their position. One member of the commission, an imam, came under fire to whether he should keep his job given his status also as an imam. And of course, we know that uh, Muslim clerics um, are the chief uh, critics or, you know, are the most intolerant, if you like, if you will excuse me, for any suggestion of gay or, you know, uh, that kind of right. So all those who are in the news, excuse me when I say intolerant, everybody is <laughs> definitely quite not happy in the Gambia, not, not spite their religion, about uh, question about gay rights. So all those things were in the media. And then, of course, we had some human rights issues when the TRRC returned with a look at the management of prisons. We had prison officers and prisoners themselves testifying, and there have been allegations and even confirmations of human rights abuse. That's why so human rights very central uh, to this week's um, uh, topics in our program. But first, let me take you to the question of gay. I mean, rights. First, let me give you the background. The, like I said, the National Human Rights Commission presented a report to the National Assembly. And soon after that, reports emerged in the media that they actually said they are protecting all rights, or they want the government to uphold and protect all rights. And when the media picked on the fact that this includes gay rights, I mean, the commission were on the defensive saying, why are the media picking up just gay rights? And forgetting that there are other rights are there which they are protecting. So, should the media uh, is the media right to just pounce on the gay rights alone, as the commission is not happy about, or maybe the media has a right to bang on the one they feel that's more topical, which is gay rights in the Gambia? What do you make of the controversy? Well, I don't think it's a controversy. I think um, what happened was that we are open to. Uh, discussing things that are very uncomfortable mm. 
mm. on a national platform. And I think that is very necessary. For It's a conversation that we need to have uh, because as a country, we are at a threshold. We are transitioning from a repressive regime to a regime more open to protecting people's rights and uh, recognizing everybody's individuality and, and, and everything surrounding that. And I believe that as we are advocating for institutional reforms, we also need to look inward and see uh, how we contribute to these abuses as people, as a community, uh, our intolerance towards things that are outside of our beliefs or outside of our conventional uh, traditions. Uh, how do we contribute to these things? What can we change from within ourselves and as a community? And that is the reason why it is very important for us to have this conversation. And I think the media knew that this is what is going to spark a national debate, this is what is going to spark a national conversation, and that's why they pick it out. Because as, as it happened, uh, we are now having the debate, we're having the conversation. There are so many people who are intolerant to that. But just to give the benefit of the doubt to the commission, I think the commission has invoked their mandate, and their mandate is to protect every individual, regardless of who they are, regardless of their sexuality. And to say that we are seeking to protect everybody's rights is not necessarily the same as staying to the government approved gay marriage, for example, or we are promoting homosexuality. For me, these are two different things. Uh, we can disagree with who a person is or the livelihoods that they choose, but we cannot deny the fact that every individual has uh, an obligation to respect another person's rights. So you see, each, each time this debate comes on, I, 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 I'm always confused. Um, is it that the issue is the people who are called gay can stand up and defend their right in this country, or yes, they have a right provided they stay in secret and don't practice in public? What is the argument? I mean, individuals n do not necessarily have to defend their rights. This is why we have the state. Mm. The state has a responsibility to defend people's rights. Mm -hmm. And we all, the state owe that responsibility to every individual in this country. And this is the reason why we have laws. So the laws cannot discriminate against people because of who they are. And even that who they are is still, it's a debate. People are saying, oh, it's a choice. Some people are saying it's natural to be gay. But that's a debate I don't want to get into. Uh, <laughs> so that's who, now who will get into? Because <laughs> <laughs> governments, them, we have seen no. the government themselves shy of getting in, into the debate. No. Who then will get into the debate? The reason why I say I don't want to get into it is because I don't have the authority to, to determine whether somebody who calls himself but you have a gay your, is but you have your, but you have your has opinion a natural to tendency to But you have your opinion to form. I have my opinion just based on the people I interact with. I, the, reason why I, the reason why I am very uh, adamant about people's rights being respected is because I know real people. There are real people that I've lived with who exhibit tendencies of gay. I'm, I'm not going to say they are gay because to appear gay is not the same as being gay. But there are people who appear gay that I know that are in the community and I see how they are being treated. And if, if, if you just distinguish the fact that these are real people, it's not just a concept we're talking about. Mm -hmm. There's a person there out there that I know who is subjected to maltreatment because mm -hmm. of who they are. Mm -hmm. Because these people that exhibit uh, behaviors of gay are people that are born like that, they grow up like that, and I'm sure because of the treatment that they face within the community, if they could change themselves, they would change themselves. But mm -hmm. they couldn't. So based on that fact, I can form an opinion that they are like that. You said government is the government's role to protect, but this government, the Gambia government, perhaps under praise from the various religious and cultural groups, have told the UN uh, in, uh, last year, was it the year before, in Switzerland, that that is not a law that they want to decriminalize. Uh, and that's not one thing they want to decriminalize in the Gambia. Okay, they've made it clear that they cannot decriminalize that. They are under praise from European Union and other human rights bodies. To, 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 to decriminalize gay, you know, practice of gay in the Gambia. They said they would not do it. And, and they are not talking about it at all. When you ask them, they say, it's not an issue. Yeah. And each time it comes up, it becomes a big issue. Yeah, so here is the thing. Uh, even as a human rights defender, there are certain things that I want to be cautious, cautious about. Uh, and it is the fact that at this point in time, there is so much intolerance towards homosexuality in this country. And we cannot also circumvent uh, 
the, the values, the traditions that exist. Although we can seek to change some of the things that are negative towards certain people, and I think that's a responsibility we all hold. But again, we, I, I feel like we need to expand the conversation to make people understand why it is important to have everybody's rights being respected. And that's why I want to distinguish protecting people's rights from uh, approving gay marriage, for example, mm. or condoning in quotation, homosexuality mm -hmm. in the Gambia, because whether we condone it or not, mm -hmm. there are people who are going to be homosexuals. So we, there's nothing we can do about that. Mm -hmm. uh, so the point, the reason why I said we need to be cautious is the backlash that mm -hmm. it's going to have mm -hmm. on the gay community. Mm -hmm. And I can be sympathetic to the government when they say it's not, it's not a big issue now. To say it's not a big issue is not to say that there are people are not subjected to discrimination, people are not being persecuted, or they are not being tortured, or they are not being uh, bad things are not happening to them. Mm. But that's why we have a government to say that we have a law that do, does not discriminate, that mm. every individual deserves respect, and people cannot be denied jobs, for example, as the U.S. Supreme Court have declared Just recently, like. mm -hmm. that because of, because of their sexuality, mm. and that uh, you cannot persecute somebody, or you cannot insult, you cannot torture somebody because of who they are. That we have the laws to protect every person that way. Yeah, but, but, the but, but, question about yes. gay marriage, yes. it's another debate we can have. Yes. And at this point in time, I feel the like if gay marriage is approved in the Gambia, the backlash mm -hmm. from the community, mm -hmm. because the conversation has not deepened yet, mm -hmm. the understanding, the education is mm -hmm. lacking mm -hmm. within the community itself, mm -hmm. the backlash it's going to have on the gay community is going to be uh, even more devastating than having the law in place right now. So you mean the law in uh, having the law in place, which says now gay marriage is not allowed, is perhaps subs, subs, all, is, all sides of the debate. That is my individual opinion. All sides of the debate, yeah. uh, perfectly. That's my individual, uh, and I'm saying that. So what do you what do you make of the 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 position of uh, one member? I don't I, I I I hate to pick one member, but because his case came uh, as really a bone of contention and a raging debate as to the role of the imam in the. Uh, Imam Babali in the commission. I mean, he had made it clear that it's not just about uh, protecting human rights that he's there. As an Imam, he has a role in reconciling people. And uh, I mean, he, he, you must, it, must, it must be said, he really uh, fought for freedom in the Gambia in the past. But here are people who believe that because he's an Imam and the first cardinal principle of uh, Islam, uh, I mean, goes against uh, gay marriage. So he shouldn't be present at anywhere where there's any suggestion of people protecting or fighting for freedom of gay, gay people. Mm. And, and do you, you think the attack on him was quite unjust? Oh, he said jealousy. He said, he said some of it is part of jealousy. What do I, you make of it? I wouldn't call it jealousy. I probably would call it lack of understanding. Mm. And I, just another problem that I have with most Gambians is how we, we like to uh, condition people and how we like to be the police over morality mm -hmm. and what that should look like for everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like whether an imam or not, if you are, if you are in, a, in an institution that is given a specific mandate to uphold and you're upholding, upholding that, mm -hmm. I don't see where the problem should be. Uh, and again, again me, I, don't think, I don't see anything controversial. I don't even think it is un-Islamic for anybody to suggest that every individual deserves respect, mm. every individual's dignity must be recognized, and every individual must, be, must have their, their human rights protected and uphold. I don't see anything on Islamic about that. And I think for anybody to suggest that would just be a lack of understanding about what the religion really is. OK, let me tell you what they said. They said um, every religion that is here in the Gambia, that means Christianity and Islam, in fact, it is mentioned in the Quran and, and in the Bible that uh, men marrying men or, or the other way around is not allowed and it's haram in Islam. Now, they are arguing that if you have somebody who leads a congregation or prayers in that religion, that person has no business at any institution uh, which is protecting rights such as or which include that gay right. So they think his position as an imam is untenable as long as he continues to serve in the commission. That's where the debate, the question of morality, again, yeah, what you said. So what I'm trying to give you mind is, um, do you think he was fairly or unfairly attacked? 
I or do you think it's, his, it's, it's in his best interest to resign from this position? Just, not just because he is afraid of the prayers, or, or, but just out of, um, you know, like, out of morality. You know, the question is, okay, there is a conflict of interest. A lot of people misunderstood this thing. Let me just get out. So here's the thing. Uh, I don't think Babali had a platform to explain himself the way that I understand his position to be. Okay. And I also want to say again that there are two things involved. Mm -hmm. There is, on one side, there is a call for the protection of every individual in this country, mm -hmm. regardless of who you are, regardless of your sexuality. Mm -hmm. On the other side of the spectrum is people advocating for or against recognition of homosexuality as an act or decriminalizing homosexuality in this country. So these are two things completely mm. that are different. Mm. From the perspective of the Human Rights Commission, Commission if I understand it correctly, mm. they are calling for the initial one that I've explained. Mm -hmm. Protect every individual against discrimination, yes. against ridicule, yeah. against uh, persecution. Prosecution, yes. Exactly. But there's a law now which can prosecute them. Exactly. That's where the trouble is. So when they say protect homosexuality, Protect gay, protect gay people, they're calling the president to protect gay people. Mm. It is against discrimination, it is against persecution, against ridicule, which is very rampant in yeah. this country. Okay. Why and I, I don't see why that should be a problem. I cannot change somebody who is a, who is a homosexual. Mm. And I would like to know what Islam or Christ, Christia, uh, Christ, Christianity's degree on that is. Does but it say, said, go and kill them, it, for it example? Does, no, it, it just said, they, it didn't, they didn't recognize them as a right. It doesn't, the it doesn't recognize the practice as a right. The practice. It is co yeah, it considers, what religions consider it wrong in the first place and shouldn't exist. Okay. And so therefore, something that is wrong should not be but given does any it, right. But does it say kill homosexuals? No, he didn't say that. Only Jack said exactly. he would do does that. Does it say discriminate homosexuals? No, he said it is not allowed. It doesn't exist. Shouldn't exist. So my point is, mm -hmm. the point that I'm trying to arrive at, I am very ignorant mm -hmm. on... Well, I mean, both religious I mean, I practice my religion. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not a religious scholar, so I don't know the, the details around these things. But what I know to be true mm -hmm. is, is that uh, if I cannot change you as a homosexual, mm -hmm. um, there's nothing I can do about it. And I'm not, I don't think my religion gives me any right mm -hmm. to go and ridicule you as a homosexual, or okay. to kill you, or to discriminate against you. I get as a your point because I feel like I have a responsibility to respect you for who you are. I get your to point. To treat you as I would want to be treated. I, I, I get, leave you I, to be I who you are. I get your point. I get it because it's the same religious scripture which said drinking uh, is bad, yeah. fornication is bad, but we accept people who do it uh, every day. So yeah, whatever you, ask, you do I, now, from a religious point of view, is between you and your God. Why should what? Where am I going to drive right. my right now okay. to to persecute you because we, we, your practice we, is something we, that goes We will have we will, we will have the assistance of an of an expert later in the program on this matter. <laughs> we move on to other human rights issues now. The prison um, authorities, the the Gambia prison service, you know, have been much criticised um, um, since we had the TRRC last week. Particularly, they went to the bottom. Let's say the roots and branch causes of all the problem by bringing in prisoners uh, on parade there uh, and they explained some of the mis maltreatments they received. We had prison officers who confessed that they really tortured or maltreated some prisoners and they acted in violation of the Prison Act, which actually accorded rights to prisoners, um, every kind of rights, until their term ends. Um, this again brings the question of human rights into sharper focus. For example, we heard um, that prisoners have been punished either by denied visitations or actually been physically beaten, taken out of prison around somewhere and, 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 and you know, beaten seriously for one thing or the other against um, the prison's act. How do, what do you, how do you react to that? I mean, uh, I, I don't think, I think it's, oppo it's appalling, it's very sad to know that this is happening, but it's not surprising. Uh, because the, the, the regime has created a culture that is still uh, in place. Um, as long as we continue to maintain the structures that, that uh, held this practice together from the past regime, these practices are going to be ongoing. They're going to continue. And I think that's the reason why it's not surprising for many people to know that there are people still serving within the, uh, the, the security sector that are still 
torturing and that, that are still violating people's human rights, regardless of the revelations that we hear from the TRRC or uh, from the beginning of the TRRC up to this point. So I believe that the, the only way we can change this is to, mm -hmm. to uh, dismantle those structures, that, 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 that culture that has been established from the last regime up to this point, mm -hmm. and to remove all the bad comments from there. Uh, but but it's, not, it's if, not just, if, if you call it's it just not the misconduct of the prisoner, uh, the prison guards, but the general condition of prisons they describe as very inhumane. All those were highlighted, like no. uh, congestion is one, uh, no decent uh, sanitary facilities, ventilation is a problem, mm -hmm. and in fact, uh, uh, the remand wing they said is very close to the highway. Uh, I mean, even a mere motor accident can cause fatalities if, if you know, if yeah. the, so there's general condition of the prison itself came into sub focus and it was really pathetic to hear both prisoners and even prison guards explaining uh, how the situation is there. Yeah, but that's the point I'm trying to say. This, these conditions are not new. The conditions have been there for so long. Yeah. So if we're serious about changing them, we need to, we need to uh, focus on establishing a prison reform system exactly, that needs to it. happen to overhaul the entire system, the culture that exists and the structures this, this government that even, really... This government even talked about building a new prison. I once had that <laughs> in 2017. Yeah, but have you been aware of any no. specific re even reform that happened with the no. prisons? Nothing. I know, so of the point is nothing has changed. That's the well, of course, I, to, be, to be fair, some of the people who were, or even who accepted to have... Uh, you know, maltreated prisoners have been suspended since three years now. They've been, they've been on a suspension, and you know, so at least that is some, at least that some efforts are changing. You know? But like you said, people are still serving who are believed to have maltreated or even confessed to have maltreated uh, prisoners. So that's 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 about it in the TRRC. So now, with all these topics, now we have, you know, uh, Mr. Edmund Foley is a director at the Institute. Uh, for Africa, uh, for in, uh, human rights um, development in Africa. Am I right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The I H R D. D. Now, first, tell me what does the H I H I R H D do? Does in, in the Gambia particularly? You mentioned Africa, but let's talk about the Gambia. Right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Lamin, and uh, good afternoon to all our listeners and viewers. The institute was established in 1998. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, by two lawyers, a Senegalese who has been called to glory, Alpha Fal, and an American lawyer. Alpha Fal. Yes. Go to glory, you for death. Yes. Ah, yes. Uh, sorry yes. about that. Yes, Alpha Fal done some years ago. But his legacy still lives on, of course, mm -hmm. in the work that was started in the. You sound like a very situation. religious person. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I am religious. Okay. The, and uh, Julia Harrington uh, from America, both of whom had worked here in the Gambia as lawyers with the African Commission on Human and People's Rights. So from that uh, experience, the Institute essentially works um, to strengthen the African human rights system, these bodies, the African Commission, the African Court, the Committee on the Rights of the Child. And lately, we have also worked with the sub-regional courts like the ECOWAS Court. We work in three main areas. So we defend um, persons whose rights have been violated. We take cases to these bodies. We also educate so we organize training workshops and engage with persons working in the human rights field to train them on the african human rights system and how to use these bodies to get justice for victims and lastly we have an information dissemination mandate so we manage a database quite a number of databases on um, bringing together cases that have been decided by these human rights bodies as well as local courts on children's rights and we have also started a database on sexual and gender-based violence okay. but specifically here in the gambia um we have let's say even before the um, current government in the past yeah regime, i was going to ask where yes. where are you where where where, 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 where are you <laughs> yes <laughs> the famous that, balance yes, now the <laughs> where were you <laughs> when when all this when, was happening when, yes when all this was happening yes we, we, we were here um and you recall those were not very easy days yeah. for human rights defenders okay. we we had to take very much into account the concerns of the people, the human rights defenders who were fighting 
for justice here in the Gambia. Yes, we worked with a few of them, we knew them, but we couldn't also expose them and expose our staff and ourselves. Okay. So yes, a lot of what we did was quite on the ground, um, working with these human rights defenders. But there were a couple of issues in which we sort of stuck out our neck. Sure. I, I, we, recall okay. the, um, <laughs> we observed the trial, for instance, of the GPU yeah. executives. Executive, yes. Executive, yes. Um, we observed that trial yeah. and um, to make a case for the respect for due process for rights, sure. as, we, as we call it yeah. then. In the latter years of the regime, so, so you, 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 in so doing, you went into the bad books of the regime. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but we, we always tried. In fact, on okay. the quiet, we had had meetings with the Attorney General, okay. you know, and Minister for Justice, then the various ministers, yeah. expressing our concern, so, you yeah. know, for the situation in the country. I mean, for any issue that came up, we carefully exactly. also being mindful of not putting people at, at risk. risk. Yeah. Yes, but nonetheless. We also started sort of soft engagement. So even during the Jame years, we still had training with the police, with the prisons. Yes. yes. In a sort of soft entry, much as things were difficult, yes. at least these key institutions yes. were ready yes. to begin the process of transformation. Yes. And we have carried that through. Okay. Now with the new um, dispensation, yes. we have continued. So. Uh the training workshops have continued. Mm -hmm. We are working actively with the Victim Center, Center now to document some cases of enforced disappearance and extrajudicial killings. Yeah. We are also continuing the, the, the training workshops with we've done for journalists, we've mm -hmm. done for the services. Mm -hmm. We're hoping um, to even engage more with the military. Mm -hmm. um, but also on our case mm -hmm. mandate, we have taken up a couple of cases. Mm -hmm. um, we're working together with AIDS free world, mm -hmm. um, challenging and supporting uh, two two persons who have decided to challenge oh, yeah. the um, yeah, HIV the treatment, HIV yes, treatment, treatment yeah. program. Mm -hmm. We are also doing a case um, on forced evictions on behalf of uh, the Kermot Ali community, yeah. and we have also um, taking up a case challenging the Public Order Act. Act. Okay. Yes, so okay. we, we will continue. I mean, under our three. Uh, broad mandates, mandates defending, defending, educating, and informing, okay. yes. And this is, you said Africa, you operate in, 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 in all parts of the continent. Yes, we work all across Africa. Banjul is our base. Headquarters. Yes, but what we do is instead of having offices in specific countries, we yeah. work with local partners, local partners yes, uh, institutions on the, on the ground. Mm -hmm. So we have worked quite well across the West Africa has had a strong focus. We've worked in East Africa. Yeah. We recently are making incursions into North North Africa. Yes. Okay. Ah, wow. So specifically now, um, as you were saying, you must have been then baffled when you hear uh, these revelations coming from the prison. You just told us that you even yes. even at the at the time when dictatorship was here, you engaged the prisons and. Uh, Try to educate them on how to treat prisoners or how to work. Yes. Um, so you must be, you must have been surprised when you hear that uh, serious things like that happen. Yes, yes. I I must say, well, personally, also, I, I worked in Ghana's National Human, uh, Reconciliation Commission. Oh, okay. So I Fantastic. also have that background. Okay. Um, coming from listening to such such, such testimony, yeah. it is heartbreaking, as my sister has has said, to hear that. But. I would also say, let us not be too surprised. Mm -hmm. We are in a transitional phase. Mm -hmm. I mean, at the Institute also, we work a lot on transitional justice issues. Mm -hmm. So let the public and all of us be a bit gentle in the way we expect to see change. Oh, I see. Let us go back to our traditional societies. Mm -hmm. Here in Gambia, in Ghana, wherever, at least mm -hmm. studying, I, I've also studied a bit of customary law. Yeah. If you look at our traditional setup, we even didn't have prisons mm. in traditional African societies. Yeah, no prison. Prisons were alien to us. We resolved issues if people had committed a crime in a society. Mm. It was very much a restorative justice system. Mm. Exactly. It was only in worse, very serious crimes yeah, somebody custom would be that somebody would be banished from banished. the community. Yes, that's right. But we never really had the concept of prisons. Mm. Yeah. That was a colonial um, heritage, legacy, a legacy yeah. that mm. we had. But the prison system has a certain punitive sound to it. Mm -hmm. You lock up somebody with a certain sense of suffering. Mm -hmm. 
those who brought it to us, there's been a mind shift towards correctional services. Exactly. So even some countries have changed the term prison to correctional correction. services. Yeah, I mean, the Scandinavian countries in Sweden now, they are closing down prisons, prisons. You know, and are even turning them. They are renting out prisons for offices for exactly. people to use as yeah. working spaces. Yeah. So in the transition, like my sister has said, we need a mind shift. We need a difference in thought from punishment to correction. So when I listen to the testimonies, yes, a lot of what we were venting was the pain that people have suffered. But really, I think that mind shift, and that's where for us at the Institute, in all the training workshops, we start telling people, the officers, let us have a heart towards correction instead of the punishment as it were. I definitely agree. I think we, we may need, crime would not leave society. Yeah. Let's also appreciate that with freedom will come a certain sense of irresponsibility, irresponsibility. on the side of exactly. certain people. Yeah, yeah. And the numbers are huge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for Maltu, Janjambure, Joshua, Joshua, we need to expand. Yeah. Yes. And even let's think about persons, I mean females. What is the capacity of our female prisons? If yeah. you go to our police stations, are they segregated the cells on exactly. the basis of yeah, sex? Yeah. So the call for yes, a new facility is in the right direction. Yeah. But even with the current facility, yeah. yes, yeah. we would need to see a more humane treatment, humane treatment of the persons who are there. Exactly. Okay, let's plunge straight into another hot controversy. The issue about gay. You must have followed in the news yes. like we have just been discussing. Um, uh, I mean, the Gambia government or politicians are very shy when it comes to this debate. Yes. Of course, we must say that the majority of the opposition politicians here, maybe because they are not yet in power, mm -hmm. have made their positions known that they are anti-gay because they read the sentiment among the people, so they took the easy way that this is not a popular thing, so let's condemn it. Right. But Mr. Barrow, the president, doesn't have that uh, luxury because right. here he is in power and he is expected to protect all rights the rights of gay protection gay rights is not popular mm -hmm. and he is now between say six, six and seven what to do right how would you have reaction in his position if you have a government not a very easy one yeah but let's let's start this way the the question of human sexuality mm -hmm. and I associate myself with all what my sister had said mm -hmm. the question of human society uh, sexuality sits in religion custom and culture. Mm -hmm. So if you go into every society, it's going to be defined by these three principles. Yes. If this country is Muslim and Christian, mm -hmm. uh, the Christians would look to Leviticus, the book of Leviticus and the yeah. book of Romans, okay. which would say that God has, I mean, for Romans, the book of letter, letter to the Romans from Paul says that God has given these people up to their passions. Mm -hmm. Right. So, it's sort of even God Himself has abandoned, abandoned such persons but, after, their, think, after their passion. Yes. The difficulty, and I think that's what she was hinting at, is when we sort of jump into the fray mm. to play God yeah. and now determine. Mm. Okay. So you find a situation where people attack uh, persons perceived to be gay or lesbian. Mm -hmm. And yes, rightfully, a lot of our criminal law which governs this area comes from ecclesiastical law, both Islamic law and um, from the Christians, okay. the Bible, which influences the way we draft this law. So okay. it's a no-no. We appreciate creation as man and woman. Oh. The two must cohabit yeah. and have conjugal relations. Anything outside that That's is criminal yes, yeah. and unacceptable. Mm -hmm. So from that perspective, we have to sort of listen to the people and the way they view it. That's why there's a lot of public backlash. backlash. It's not in our culture. It's exactly. not in our religion. It's exactly. not in our customs. Exactly. So, uh -huh. so how do we reconcile, so the, how do we reconcile yes. that? Mm -hmm. If it is not there, we ask ourselves as a people, how do we deal with it? Do we go out and beat people? Mm -hmm. Mr. Barrow and his cabinet... Or cut their heads. Yes, uh, exactly. Mm -hmm. The president and his institutions of state, mm -hmm. like my sister said, their responsibility is to ensure that I do not get up and pick a cutlass mm -hmm. if I think the other person is gay. I don't have a right to do that. Yeah. But in listening to the people and listening on the ground, we will not go and say we should legislate to say, 
if two men want to have sex, they should go ahead and do it. It's a very difficult situation. Exactly. You know, rights conflict. And I always say that all of us, our sexuality is something that is so private. Yes, we don't come out to see how we have sex. And I, when I used to teach criminal law, I'll tell my students that tonight some of you are going to commit a crime. And they say, Sir, how? I said, anybody who is not going to have sex with his wife, the traditional way of penis and vagina, anything else you have seen. <laughs> yes, because if you look at the law on unnatural carnal knowledge, as we have in the Gambia and in Ghana, where I come from, it says sex other than the natural order. So even between man and woman, it is possible to have something other than the natural order. order. But you ask, does the police have the time and the energy to go knocking on people's doors (laughs) to find out what they are doing (laughs) in secret? So the countries that have abolished um, the law on sodomy, this has been the reason. They said it is not worth police time. So as you have in the book of Romans, leave them to their passions. The fear is also if you leave such, yes. would it influence the rest it of will, the, it will be promoted. That, that is what the community fears. Yes. So, from a human rights perspective, we say, look, let people be. Mm-hmm. If you go into the freedom of expression, you study freedom of expression yes. theories. Yes. We say we have one called the marketplace theory mm-hmm. of expression, which is to say, like Serekunda Market, mm-hmm. allow all manner of goods to be traded. Yes. People will naturally not buy what they think is not good. So just allow them to be, with time it will go off. I have always said that countries that are uncomfortable with people expressing themselves as gay and lesbian, go ahead and do so if you want to legislate. Then we all know your position. But let us not take this hypocritical approach of saying we don't like it. Absolutely. Yet we are not willing to do anything about it. Well, if you don't like it, then stick your neck out and do and something about like it. it yes. And say we don't like it. Exactly. But don't hide behind, behind anything. Because yes. the law we have now currently does yes. not say being gay is a crime. Mm-hmm. It is when you engage in sexual activity. That's a crime. That's a crime. And if people you, don't see that being done. So. Yes. Because where is the evidence? Yes, yes, yes. You see, for in Islam, I know, yes. for for you to charge somebody with sodomy in Islam, you need the evidence of witnesses. Now, no upright Muslim in his right senses will want to witness such an act. (laughs) Because if for even him to see is haram, he has stained himself. So he will not want to go. So it will go on. Difficult to get convictions. Exactly. Mm. Exactly. That's the thing. And that's why some countries have said, take it off. Mm. So in the president's shoes, I think he can at best just emphasize that, look, we live in a Gambia where we respect what each person is, right? We have no right to go defining people's sexuality for them. But anybody who also is of a particular sexual orientation, which doesn't accord to what our laws have, know that should you be caught in any situation that uh, your sexuality brings you into th- there's nothing I can do they are institutions so the police will go ahead and do their investigations until such time that the community has a different perspective, perspective. yes but in that case uh, the people the gay people will, st- will not feel protected I do I do a- accept that they will not feel protected but should they face any situation where their rights or their safety is likely to be infringed or in actually this, in infringed. In this way, I just yes. want to emphasize that protection right. can come in two different ways. Yes. What my brother here is saying may not protect their sexuality, but if we imply the other aspects of the law, we can protect their persons. Precisely. And yes. that's what we are calling for, that every individual Precisely. deserves a right for protection for their persons. Yeah. At least that's something we can agree with. The yes. sexuality part, yeah. it's still a debate we can continue to have. It's a conversation we can continue to have. Yes. And the community must be open to that conversation as well. And exactly. as I am seeing it, that is what is happening. So as long as we have a community that is very intolerant to this, this act, the president can take a safe route, or anybody can take a safe route and just allow the conversation to unfold and see where that happens. But as far as protection for our persons, mm-hmm. yes. that must be emphasized. Yes. I, I agree with you. 
So when looking at the future, what do you think this debate will lead to in the Gambia? When will it end? Where, where and how can we have a definite uh, decision on this, either from the government, or mm -hmm. maybe we have now the gay rights now given f f yeah, full rights, gay, I mean gay rights activists and people who are gay? I would, I would I say, think, yes. I think if, what, what the human rights activists are saying, mm -hmm. when they said protect all rights, including gay, they mean decriminalize gay yeah. marriage. <laughs> that, that is not going to come Which easy. the government said they will not do. Yes, that is not going to come easy. Um, one route would be to go to the Supreme Court mm -hmm. and have the poor justices <laughs> have the responsibility <laughs> of having to interpret, but, in, interpret it. It's and, not going and, to be and easy. And get themselves classified yes. anti-gay or gay, pro-gay. Yes, I, I worked in, in South Africa. Mm -hmm. I worked in the Constitutional Court and actually worked on the case that decided um, that persons of um, same-sex orientation can marry. Well, that is South Africa. But it was not easy. Yeah. Even though I can tell you from experience, within the court, mm -hmm. it was not easy for the judges to come to that conclusion. Yeah. And even after that, yeah. the public sentiment, and by yeah. the way, South Af most South Africans I, were against it. Say, no. The public sentiment will not change. No. So, again, yes, in a democratic space now, yeah. the conversation will continue. And to my fellow Africans who think that this is an African, there is sociological evidence that we do have persons of sexual orientation, same-sex orientation in African societies. Because most people take the notion that this is European. No, 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 it is white, not white. white. It white is also African. It, on us. it is also African. The Lovedu tribe in Southern Africa are a tribe of lesbians. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Yes, they, they are. There's even talk very close to us that some of the griots yes. in the past mm -hmm. were actually, their powers stem from the fact that they were persons of same sex. sex. Some of the great fetish priests and priestesses we have in Africa mm -hmm. have been seen to be persons of same sex orientation. So it is something that's very much been with us. So that debate will continue. The debate on human sexuality will continue. In a new rights dispensation, yes. like my sister has said, we would have to accept that those discussions will go on. Mm -hmm. It would be wrong for us to shut anybody who wants to have this discussion. It will happen. But on a scale, in looking at the issues we have to deal with as a country now, and yes, of course, politicians can always play to their advantage or disadvantage. One group may push this on the government's face and say, deal with it immediately. I think the bigger questions for us are the socioeconomic rights issues and changing the culture of abuse of civil and political rights. You see, that's critical for the Gambia now. We need to improve the situation with the right to health, access to water, you know, basic services, shelter. What is the national housing um, plan? What is the plan for improving the economy, expanding infrastructure? See, these are the big issues. So we shouldn't get bogged down in, in just the gay, in just the gay and that's, lesbian issues. There are bigger that's questions. That's exactly the position of the National Human Rights Commission. Yes, yes there are bigger questions for us to discuss yeah. rather than to descend into an issue that perhaps if we check really affects a minority. Not to say we are not going to respect them. But there are bigger concerns for us to look at as a country now. Wow, Edmund Foley, oh, from the Institute for Human Rights Development in Africa. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your input. We appreciate it, and we wish you all the best of luck uh, Thank at you. your institute. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Love you. Now, when we come back, we talk politics. I will have to save you. Um, I have to keep the suspense. You know what this topic will be about. That will be after this break. So join us later. Thank you. We live in a day and age where technology is creating a world without borders, filled with unlimited potential to improve the lives of the people around us. InnovaRex Global Health ushers in a new way of leveling the playing field with increased access to quality healthcare services delivered at your doorstep. Our qualified professionals are equipped with state-of-the-art point-of-care testing technology to conduct tests such as kidney function, liver function, 
electrolyte tests, body composition, hemoglobin, A1C, and many more services with the highest efficiency in delivering results. The addition to our flagship Wellness on Wheels, more fondly known as WOW Delivery Service, brings the entire clinical experience full circle. IGH has remained committed to creating the future of healthcare delivery. Gone are the days of sending loved ones outside the country for basic medical services. Innovarex Global Health offers a new peace of mind and takes pride in delivering the quality of care we all deserve. Boy, Janno Circus Restaurant. Yes, I know who be in the Dimba. Dimba Domoro Kara Janno. Domoro Seneata, Adiata, Topotoro, Fanan Kendama Bige, Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijani, Adi Manda Walade, Teka Vijele, Anim Fanan Kafa Dijang, Ukono Efa, Eka Fominoko Pestri, Anim Bakery, Uko Fanan Bakalian. Badé lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fo fendi lo dunia kono domoro betama ñil lom international oti wada number 1 amanke ba domoro jandam man e sa domo jang is atariya a wo mu ku bandi sa na ko sa futandi e oto sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant ndaba na jandam mu yat ni manje do rombi jang aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction Lanni maro lanni fop lanni eh awa jodi mi anda honno gerde te ngallo sabu e ngallo ibrahima journal taw joni mi anda se yahay capitale ki nyawlo de ha hum pondire mako esko non e waru de ah wadde no awa ene ko de ibrahima mo ko to woni mi mo amerique ah ko amerique woni eh kere hum pita ki fi be musibe men balu balu o Bebe anda da kala ko wada wonde aduno si arivi e jude mabbe a jonne do departement gambia har no wedi aya ataka di taw ko mbudi di no jawi wala no jippi be halanta ma ko kala ko faada ko re sengo nyamete ni neppa maaro eh basal pomme de terre 
kala ko rewi dom a hendu do harno wiyi kadi wona dum nontu be abbe jondira e mobile phone siko dum kadi laptop kala ko wayro de jiba ay cash power be waaw ma jonnude kadi sa wala on pitade ko wiyi et google account ma joni data ton wada download app mabbe on ayi kala ko humpi maaye mabbe ton be be bi amay ka won ta woy aduna on kala ko wawda a jonna hello and welcome back to the brunch i'm lavin sham and we continue the debate now turning our attention to domestic politics i'm going to the studio or we are joining the studio that is by the honorable omar sise of the opposition gambia democratic congress a national assembly member for nyamina east if i'm right uh, where you have a by election in the neighborhood nyamina west very soon and esa damfa is a member of, are you or a supporter or spokesman stroke sympathizer of the Na national people's party of president baro and of course nyima kamara is here and she is she is here laying in ambush for any one of you so be mindful but damfa especially Don't fight especially. All right. Uh <laughs> gentlemen, welcome. Uh honorable Sisa, let's start with you. You've been busy in the National Assembly over the last days and even continue. I think you are in the ordinary session of mm -hmm. next week or so. Mm -hmm. Um what does talk about the COVID matters, the state of emergency in particular. Um last time you had it, you had your chance to extend it according to the executive you blew it. Mm -hmm and the president had to intervene and uh, uh, declare his own and now his officials are saying it's not an extension but maintaining it whatever that means um so what has been the reaction of you in Nas the national assembly uh, well, with the new one maintaining or extending it well thank you very much um of course we are not in any way arguing the fact that covid-19 is something real mm -hmm. and it is in existence yeah. and of course from our health experts according to them then we have this um, covid-19 in the country according to them mm -hmm. and that being the case of course they feel that having a state of public emergency will be of help in order to contain the disease in this country or the virus in this country yeah. so at first the national assembly was requested to extend this for three months in which the national assembly upon debating they narrow it down to uh, 45 days that is just to ensure by the end of the 45 days we will be able to ascertain what actually transpired within the 45 days but upon completing the 45 days by the executive we came to realize that obviously all the regulations that were set up 85% of them were not adhered to or they were not implemented and when they came back again to seek for another 45 days then we have to turn it down mm -hmm. and the fact of the matter is not actually all the national assembly members were against the extension okay. but most of them were against the um, 45 days including okay. myself okay. and for that being the case of course you will observe that the executive from what we observe, you don't have to be told, I don't have to be told what we are seeing in this country. Mm -hmm. Most of the regulations that were outlined in order to help oneself to contain or to prevent oneself from the disease, they were not actually implemented by the authorities that were responsible. You will even get to understand mm -hmm. that when they were requesting the, the uh, order 45 days, yeah. you have the Minister of Justice saying the authorities that are responsible in fact to implement the regulations they were even waiting for the minister of justice to serve them such documents when they were the uh, authorities to implement such regulations that to me it is showing how the level of unseriousness that is happening at the at the government because today you will observe that you get to the market things life moves on as usual you get to the, um, the the most of course you have some malls that were closed and others were open and other places that were of course part of the regulations but obviously you will observe that most of these things were not observed so at the latter part then we observe that again the government said they want to relax some of the restrictions or the regulations in my opinion yeah. this was just this was done just after one or two days we have the president traveling to Basia, Jimara, or wherever we might call it. Mm -hmm. So, to me, in my opinion, this was actually set out, or it's a plan ahead, so as to have the president traveled. 
But that does not necessarily mean that they were doing this in order to have the people relief. I you see. now talk about the food package that they are talking about. You have some compounds, of course. We must make the people understand yeah. that this is not a gift. It's their own money, it's the taxpayers' money. Whether we access it through loan, whether we access it through grant, whether it is coming from the national budget, wherever it could be, then the taxpayers' money at the end of the day will feel the burden of that. Yeah. So it is the taxpayers' money that we are plowing back to them. Yeah. So we, but we must not uh, put it in a way that we are trying to capture political points. And looking at the entire situation, mm. the government is trying to capture a political point out of the whole scenario. Mm. And Rick, I am not actually pleased to hear or, or see the What has been your experience in your constituency, for example? Did you see the distribution being politicized? Of course, yes. How? I will tell you some, com some villages, some compounds, you see them, just one compound, 10 bags of rice without other compounds even having single grade of rice. Could you imagine? So, so to me, I am not saying it is obvious that not every individual within the uh, district is supporting Honorable Cesar or is supporting um, uh, the GDC party. But of course we have some elements who are supporting the president. And in, in that view, you will observe that some of these compounds, I will tell you, they have 10 bags of rice in their compounds. So people who and support... others are without. Today I am telling you, some. Uh, villages are completely without even a single bag of rice. In in Sierra. In, uh, in Yamina is in Yamina, to be precise. Yes, to be precise. Because they support GDC. I am saying yeah. it, is is, it is politically motivated. Okay, okay. Based on their distribution. I was never involved, I was okay. never informed. Okay. My the councillors on the grounds were never informed about it. Okay. And they were doing this entirely so follow and by themselves. And the Alcalos, they know better okay. the distribution. But from the evidence that I have, some compounds, a single compound, mm -hmm. having 10 bags of rice, and while right. other villages, other compounds are totally without even a bag of rice. Let's cross over to Dampa. Do you agree with that? Was this okay? Let's start with the COVID, where he ended uh, before we go down to uh, the emergency uh, matters. Did you follow the food distribution? It's still happening actually in your area, West Coast. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, as you rightly said, you know, COVID, we all know that is uh, undisputable. It's something that is existing. Um, and to handle COVID is a concerted effort, not about only the central government. Yeah. Everybody is, should, be, should be part and parcel of the fight against the COVID. Um, first and foremost, I think um, uh, when you talk, uh, talk about this food distribution issue, yeah. you know, there's a lot of things that I want to. Um, Buttress okay. on the, the assassin that he made. Mm. But to come to food aid mm. packet, mm. very true, we all know that um, the money, this 700 million plus, is not about coming up from NPP or from the president's cover directly. Mm. It's from the, uh, the national cover. Yeah. But we all have been hearing noises, crying. Mm. People are crying of the people. Wherever you might be, or you, you went to, that uh, they, they need, mm -hmm. they need relief. Mm -hmm. They need for relief. They need um, something to happen, exactly. to, to, to be done at, at their uh, to 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 uh, yeah, to, 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 to kind of relief to, to the people the from their yeah. All right. Okay. The president did first step was to uh, give a medical package. Yeah. But during the interval, we've seen a lot of outcry. Mm -hmm. He should also come up with something. Why didn't they say that, okay, it's our money, let us go to, to, to the bank and, and withdraw a central bank or something? No, you know there is money in China. Yeah. So, to adhere to the outcry of the place of your, the citizenry yeah. is part of leadership quality. Okay. Government is about people. All right. So, we can never uh, go away from giving credit to the presidency mm -hmm. for adhering to the outcry mm -hmm. of the citizenry. Okay. That's one thing. Okay, so the money, the money may have come from everybody, but really we have to give credit to the president for listening to people. Good. Okay. Um, food distribution, mm. as he alluded to, me, I will be disappointed mm. from my uh, colleague here in the platform. Mm. As a local authority mm. who is serving the mandate of people of Nyamina is. He should be more closer to them than anybody, any, anybody else. But he's not a local authority. No, it's, part of, it's part of local authorities. Let's, let him explain. It's part of local authorities, my own assessor. Mm -hmm. 
Local authorities will mean by several the canon, the the the, 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 the councillors, and also the national assembly member. But the national assembly member because the national assembly member, mm -hmm. you have to listen to your people. Mm -hmm. You are not there today as GDC. Mm -hmm. You are there as representative, as their voice. Yeah, but the first announcement. If you if you see mm -hmm. your people are suffering mm -hmm. or are not treated fairly, mm -hmm. there's a politically motivated activities that's happening. Mm -hmm. Because not the basic um, uh, 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 reason why this food packet was 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 put in place. Mm -hmm. So what will be your what should be your, your role? Mm -hmm. Is to be at the epicenter. Mm -hmm. You make sure that you know those who write because it's, it started from register. So mm -hmm. you have to register compound to compound mm -hmm. to ascertain their family, uh, uh, develop their family numbers. Mm -hmm. The family number A could be different from family number B. So you have, and it also will differ accordingly. So now you have to start from there. How the registration process was conducted? Mm -hmm. Are you aware of it? Mm -hmm. But now the first and foremost, the first if you know that the registration process is not is not being done accordingly, yeah. you have to consult relevant authorities. But the announcement, the, the announcement for the distribution did not give any role to the MPs. Mm -hmm. It says Sefolu and Alcalo. Good. That's what in I'm which, saying. In which case, when he goes there, he can only observe and complain. But he cannot have a role because it's, it's been directly given to Alkalolu and Sefolu. Why Alkalolu and, and the local and the local authorities? That's what I'm local, that's local, that's what I'm the local councils have been sidelined because maybe they don't belong to NPP. All of them are opposition to NPP now, so they shouldn't have a role. Is that what? Is that? I, I just wanted to understand one point here. Yeah. Let me make very crystal clear. Mm. This distribution of food packet yes. was not in any way had nothing to do with NPP or politics. Yeah, but that's what me, I'm is. NPP. Yes. I wanted to take part there. Mm -hmm. But they take me out. I even selected a few people and at least to at least to help. Maybe they will have a, a daily ration or daily something, mm -hmm. you know, for to take to take home. Yeah. Maybe they will pay them every day something. I was thinking I, of, I, I, I disagree. No, 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 I disagree. Let, 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 let me come in there. Let me come. Ah. Let me let but me say yes. you are a non politician, everybody knows you will never take part here. Oh, this is not about this a political venture. This is go, go there and your people. We're not going to select anybody. Maybe that was just a, a That's what I'm saying. And, and, and someone and there's somebody who, who, who um do the registration in our area mm -hmm. where I, I, I reside, become yeah. a yeah. BDC Secretary General yeah. of that, that particular capital mm -hmm. is UDP. <laughs> is UDP. So but, but but in that aspect, he was not doing his job politically. Mm -hmm. He used to go to compounds that you know and he knows that they are MPP. Right there, there are numbers, number of the family, perfectly. And maybe, this is not the maybe, purpose, maybe, according to maybe that was So let me come to Omar's case here. Yeah. He, he, he could not be in any way taken part because he's not directly linked. Yeah. But he has the right to correct some of the wrongdoings. If he, he, he see that there's wrongdoings that are you know, protected in that his, his particular constituency, yeah. he has the right to correct it. Oh, he okay. has all the right to, to go to national disaster management agency. And say that, look, what is happening? We have empirical evidences that this and this and this is happening in my area. We spread it on that. But if, if that is the case, why didn't the government give the entire responsibility to distribute to the National Disaster Agency and not Al Kalolo and several? Isn't that where the trouble starts? No, 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 it's not that. You know what, what happened? Mm -hmm. Since the onset, when the, the, when, the, when, when the government wants to ascertain the level of vulnerability in the community, yeah. because they know that they cannot give access to, they cannot give full relief to everybody. Yeah. They have a targeted group. Now they sent as government agency, they sent National Disaster, Disaster Management Agency that, to go and meet the local authorities. That was perfect. But that was this. Let me come. That's that, that's but when why you was appoint politicians, let, let, let me come. Politicians I just want to give you the overview yeah. why local authorities mm. are working in harmony with National Disaster Management Why were the council sidelined, for example? Is it, are they not sidelined? Are they not? No, I mean, they were the not really sidelined. No, the entire, but we had, we had complaints. Course, that yeah. the local, local government areas. The local areas. governments are already established. There are councillors from every ward. So mm. they are actually more of a, they are more rooted, you know, among the people than any other structures. Let me, let me but they were not, they were not, let, let, they me, let me clarify here. Yeah. In the local government act, GDC yeah. is a key player there. Mm -hmm. But they didn't say key. No, 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 no. But they are part of the local government of all yeah. the act. Yeah, but, but, but BDC, yeah. BDC, but look, the, you but, know, but you have the councillor and then the village. That's, that's what I'm saying. No. The VDC BDC, part of the village. BDC, BDC is in any venture. Yeah. They are standing 
for the for the for the local government. Damfa, do you? They are standing for local government. Right? Damfa, can, can I ask this question? We understand very well. Do you, you, do you are, understand? Ask me, I did not, I did not answer. I did not complete my okay. answer. You are the one so who been talking answer. since no, thirty no, minutes no, ago. No, 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 at every local government level, we have a government. Very well. That the VDC is at the least, at the bottom of that government. Very well. Why would then a central government skip the head of that government go. to go and relay directly to the, law, the, the bottom? Let, let, me, let me come. Mm. Do you also know local government, they are part and part of the central government? Because they have a minister who is overseeing their activities. Mm -hmm. Do you know that? So why did this? Because all these councils and councils, they are, they, have, they, have, they, have, they are answerable to peers. Public yeah. Secretary of Local Government. Yeah. So this thing is like we are, we are intervening. But now, the most closest authority to the people are VDC. We don't doubt Every that. You Every to, like, the, the we don't doubt We're, we're the, saying you are circumventing a the, process. The, whole, the, whole, the, whole, the whole, government the whole, is, not you. The whole objective here, the whole objective here is to identify the vulnerable families who are indirectly in need, directly, directly in need this book in. Okay. So the, 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 the perfect veto is BBC. Second right. Dawa and his team, National Resistance Management Agency, they had a meeting with all these local government authorities. Yeah, yeah, okay. And they assigned them. Yeah. We want you to give us a figure. Yeah. Go and do the right. Yeah. We will always survive. But you, go, you, you, you are the one who knows your people. Yeah. You write compound A or B, how many families they have. Then when they compile everything, mm -hmm. they will be given a coupon. So the distribution will be observed and uh, 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 monitored by uh, disaster management, but also in, in, in conjunction with the Ankara and his team. Any distribution center, Ankara will be there for his help. VDC uh, will be there, and they are committee, local, local, uh, local organizing committee also. They are partners who are helping. And these committees are not selected on political lines. They are not selected on political lines, based on their, their okay. performance in their standard. All right, we have exhausted. Can, we have can, you, can you give me a name? Mr. Of any renowned politician who is taking, who is, is partaking this venture, best of all, Mr. 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 Mr.
that he is talking about, mm. the council or the area council, they have a comprehensive statistic mm. of these uh, uh, vulnerable groups that we are talking about. Mm. And it's because of they were totally isolated Excellent. in the process. That is why the issue of this distribution was a challenge mm. at their level. Even now, it's, 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 it's not complete. It's not completed. We have other food packages or food uh, items that are dumped outside there, mm. not distributed up to now. It's because of the statistic problem that they have. And if they should involve the area council or the municipality, then they will have a correct statistic of that and they can have their distribution done and accordingly. But the fact of the matter is, this is pure politics, yeah. and this is totally unacceptable. I have been talking about this while the National Assembly was not on session. I have been going to the radio, going to the TV, if you are following me on, pro, on the social media. I have been writing on my Twitter and, of course, Facebook page, complaining about all these issues. These are the ways in which one can always communicate and complain your problem okay. as a representative of the people. Okay. But the issue is, damn far, this is pure politics. We are not talking about okay. taxpayers' money going to the bank asking for their money. That is not the way. Of course, that is why we need the leadership. Yeah. The leadership must be there to control, to govern, to guide, okay, okay? to put things into action. Let's, let's, we have exhausted the COVID uh, food package, etc., etc. now. Um, what do we now? Let's talk about party politics. Um, when the COVID pandemic um, uh, came about, we heard from the IEC uh, quoting governments, of course, based on government, because of the restrictions, politi political process like the by elections that have happened in Yamina and Sarangai wards all have been put mm -hmm. on hold. Mm -hmm. And political parties also came to say their activities have been put on hold, rallies and this thing have been put on hold. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, that's, that is what is happening. But I have seen parties who heard about them going on, especially the NPP among mm -hmm. them, who have now put up structures. Now, but mm -hmm. did you feel that this is only going to lend credence to people who said the government is not serious about sure. observing these restrictions? Why are they going about? Uh, we learned the political council of the NPP have been around the country uh, electing executives at regions. That cannot happen without a crowd. Sure. Well, was there any social distancing? Um, first and foremost, I just want to make some clarification because it's going to be back and forth. Very good. Um, he made mention here. You know, me, I am, I am, I am uh, an ordinary citizen. Mm -hmm. Even in NPP, I haven't hold any position as for now. Yeah, but, but he's not an ordinary. He knows the authorities. You cannot be only right on Twitter or something like you know the authorities. Go there and lodge your complaint. But there's a okay. process to govern. No, the process. No, the process. You know, you know, that's what the system has been against. They are there. Listen. That's it. You go there and say, look, I am, I am the norm of this social also constituency. Mm -hmm. This is my observant and this is my evidence. It doesn't so happen. So let us look into this. It if you if, if do not do, if, if they do not adhere to him, he put it on record, the NDMA will come to the assembly. They can draw his attention to, to, to that. Well, maybe they have. Maybe so, they have I just want to say that one. Okay. Secondly, he said here, the relaxation came about because of the president wanted to travel. Okay, you yeah, the, 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 the relaxation uh, can deter the president from traveling to his home place, even during the relaxation. He, he, he is bad to travel to okay. his. his, his uh, he never said it. Within the country. He never said it. He is there a travel restriction in the country? No. So, why do you think that we're going to impose or uh, introduce the relaxation because of only the president is traveling to his native place? That is an case of the lack of He said the time it may happen. No, no, what I'm saying, mm -hmm. even, even the, the beginning, at the beginning, we have the relaxation. The time that we have a 100% uh, 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 restriction. restriction. We're not talking about the travel. We are not We're talking about, about the, the crowd. The, crowd. the crowd that comes is it, is with it the travel. Did you see him with crowd this time? It was said that he. Did you see the community? You see the community that he said from the crowd. Said from crowd they, they said crowd so never I'm allowed. Saying, no, the announcement said me, because of let COVID. Let me clarify here. No, let me say the announcement. I'm helping you. Just give me a call. I'm helping let, you. Let me learn. The announcement said because of the COVID restrictions, nobody is allowed or invited to welcome the president. That's what I'm saying. So, so there, there was are, no, they are there very was much no, aware. There was no they are very much aware of the restrictions. Yeah. That's what they said so. Mm -hmm. Because if not, you would have seen a, a lateral um, line on the root sides, mm -hmm. carrying him or welcoming him or going ahead of him before he reached there. But it never happened. Mm -hmm. So, what I wanted to emphasize here, saying that the relaxation just came about because the, you know the is, is, is that many. But the timing is, the timing not, is not there. It's not calculated. Look, it is not calculated. It's not calculated. So, to, is that. Mm -hmm. Now, we're talking about the 
party been um, structuring its regional exec. Yes. You know, this is like, it's not about new thing. Mm. Okay? Which, which other party did? Um, which other party? Club, the, uh, I'm talking about which, so other, which other party were engaged in. The Fine Club mm. is the entity that gave birth to MPP. Mm. All right? Mm. We had our all the structures from the village, mm -hmm. what constituencies mm -hmm. and the regions. Mm -hmm. It's all there. Mm -hmm. So in essence, all these exercises came out just to formulate but and finalize. But it involved people moving on to all the regions and people meeting. And it happens we, during the relaxation. We had audios, we had it happens. Meeting, yes. It happens mm -hmm. during the relaxation. So you're coming back to people's so now point that the relaxation was so, so now done basically for that. It happens, mm -hmm. so, it happens. You the last and we have seen. So, so you, mean, so are you, I mean, you are only, you are yeah. only corroborating his suspicion. No, that, uh, no, it's not only that. that even, even during the relaxation, mm -hmm. even during the, the, the restriction. Yeah, there were political activists. Uh, no, no, no political activists, I'm saying. Uh -huh. But there's a people, you know, roaming around and there's no uh, social distancing being observed on the percent. That's not, the, that's not a that's justification. It's not a justification. What I'm saying is not that I justify it. What the president and his government should be the example. Yeah. What I wanted to drive at here, to, form, to, to formulate our executive, uh, national executive uh, 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 normas or yeah. council, yeah. it was done strictly after the relaxation. During the relaxation. Uh, during, during, the, during the relaxation. Yes. That's what I wanted to mention. Exactly. And uh, it was not like a whole day process. It was no. there before. All these structures have been no, there. But we saw videos. All these structures have been there. But we saw videos and audios, yes. Which, yes. Which, which almost certainly looks like a political meeting. That's what I'm saying. Yes. People do come there how many, and attend it. How many other parties did that? They all observed this. They, 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 There's they, a lot of parties. Where? A lot of parties that we see the gardens. We, even UPP, you've seen their gardens. One of them, you know, where? they are party uh, 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 secretariat. Mm. And we've seen a lot of people. Where? Coming there, giving money, showing solidarity, so This is happening. Doi. If they are Magyar, I'm not saying Doi. Can you? have been doing it. They are Magyar, you know, I've Can I have a minute? So because, so Can you, I have a minute? So I've seen it. As you are saying, oh, I, don't yes. quote, I don't want to quote anybody. Okay. But you are the one who said that, do you, can you name anybody? Who does it? Yeah. Yes, and we are I, conducting elections and stuff like that. It's not about elections. They don't, they've already done their, their, their party activities. Structures. Structures. So, Sorry, there. so the MPP wants so to... It's only MPP yeah. who is formalizing. They want to use... Our, our 100% They state. want to use the uh, maximum opportunity of the relaxation to do that. During the relaxation period. Because mm. it was, it's just a fast... It's, it's, it's a, you can see that. Mm. It's a fast process. Mm. Because the structures are already there. Okay. It's just from fast club to MPPs. Um, uh, so you've got the structure. You can see all the cabins. You've got the structure. You can see to 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 vindicate my my point. Mm. It's all the all the cabins mm. on these uh, respective regions, eight regions, the same. Okay. From first to what? So there's only like a a, a a new a new activity is happening. Mm. It's just to form to, to formalize. Yeah. From first block, the data will be transferred to to NPP. Mm. So it's like data transfer process. It's about like so holding a meeting or a general congress or something like that. No. Mm. So it's, 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 it's that because you can see the, all the cabinets are the same. Okay. They were yeah. there before. Yeah. Former UDP people. Yeah. Most of them are from UDP. Most of them they are from UDP. Yeah. Most of them are from UDP. Most of them. Yeah. How much, how much is their weight? Because if they are from the UDP, uh, uh, from sourcing, you know, from sourcing opinions from people connected very close to NPP and the UDP. How much weight that this your new chairman have come, how have hemorrhaged from UDP? Really? Because if you mention Unanyang from KM, how much, how big is his support base mm. there? Mm. Really, no. Una is a big fish, it's a heavy weight. Really? Mm. Yes, because he's been serving yeah. as chairman for UDP. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. How much did he... That's what I'm, that's what how I'm much, saying. How much did he have that's taken? How I'm much saying. has he taken from UDP? Today? That's what I'm saying. All, most of them, I, I can say, I can say, fifty uh, percent of the entire exec in KMZ are from UDP. What I'm, I'm from there. Uh, but there so are no, it's it's issues. Now, now I'm trying to think. What, what most analysts are saying is not, it's not just the person who came. Mm -hmm. How many people have he brought along, and how is he, uh, how, how heavy he is? A defection from the part. That's what I want to know. How do you assess? That's you said you are collecting data. You, that's what I want to use Your party said you are collecting data. I'm trying to know how much, have, how much impact do you think they, they have now? That's what I want to make mention. I want to use that man. Mm. Unda is a heavyweight. Really? What is my evidence? Mm -hmm. When Unda came to our party, mm. 
Oh, under Kemu Fans Club. How many people? How many constituency chairmen's yeah company that he brought along? And now, when you just check our executive structures of KMC, you will see fifty percent of them are from UDP people. Listen carefully. The executive. The executive. Yeah, but also all the executive and the IPOP, they are followers. What we have, no, listen, what, they we, are have, followers. what we have seen is political <laughs> turnovers, political who defected, mm -hmm. uh, you know. But actually, you said you are collecting data. We are yet to see, uh, how to call it, uh, a correct assessment of how much impact do they mm -hmm. have taken mm -hmm. from the party they mm -hmm. come from. You've seen that one. Check our list. We have eight regional candidates. Mm -hmm. How many, they, how many of them are from UDP? Well, obviously. That's, that's what I'm saying. No, that shows you. Yeah. And all those chairmen, we are, we are in good time with UDP. And we are very much influenced. And there are the people who selected them as chairman of UDP. Or oh, probably they are yeah. still UDP. Yeah. No, that's what, I, what I'm saying. Uh, what I'm asking. The time that they were in UDP. <laughs> oh, they there are people UDP. Yes. in UDP mm -hmm. who convinced with their leadership qualities mm -hmm. and elected them to those various positions. And they're going to kill it. Obviously, if those who are coming from uh, the company from UDP to NPP, you know that those who are not uh, just um, an ordinary citizens or ordinary producers like SROs or, 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 or somebody else. They, okay. are, they came with their followers, okay. they came with their people, and they are very much influenced in their respective uh, uh, regions. Uh, did you see, since NPP started in course hemorrhaging supporters from UDP, any significant um, hole in the UDP uh, membership uh, according to your observation, your neutral observation. Did you think UDP or GDC is well, losing? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to ascertain that because you asked for my neutral observation but yes. I'm not sure I've been observing uh, okay. the trend of movement from one party to another party. Okay. Uh, I, haven't been, I haven't been doing that. Okay, let's so I cannot, I cannot say much about that. But I've had so many things to say and you wouldn't let me. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. You wouldn't let me. Go ahead. And I'm not even sure I remembered some of them now. <laughs> uh, okay, because I, I, was, I was going to respond in real time uh, when he was talking about a lot of things that I felt he missed. Uh, when we were talking about COVID regulations, these are government regulations. Uh, the, the president is at the top of that government. The regulations emanate from him. And so we can sit here, ordinary citizens, and complain about people not observing these regulations. But if there is anyone who should strictly adhere to these regulations, it's the president and people of his government. So it is no justification to say party one did it, party two did it, therefore it is justifiable for us to do it. If there is anybody who should set an example, it's the president and his people. It looks like that's that's what I wanted to say. It looks like their biggest so, rival is UDP. Whatever UDP yeah. does, no, does no, it's they acceptable. Have, no, they have to do it. It's not about that. This sort of answer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not, things is not like that, as she said. Mm -hmm. uh, really, when these proclamations are um, first made, mm -hmm. by then we have an activities plan. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have a very big rally in Kunju. There are so many that activities that were planned. And so then many activities that are currently planned that has to be by the president. Oh, I think all the political politicians are suspended. Even the IEC. But the, 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 the significance of that meeting. Mm -hmm. If you had given me the platform, we'd be going back to COVID-19. No, no, see? No, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. But because of that, the seriousness mm -hmm. that we attack to this disease and the proclamation, mm -hmm. we did it fit into cancer, all our activities, including the Bunguru. We need to intend to invite the president there. And we even spend a lot of money. And we lose it because we you have to hire certain things before the day itself, and that money is unrefundable. They said that okay, when these things last is over, oh, oh, COVID, uh, these things over, oh, we can organize it again. Okay. But based on the seriousness, the attack to this COVID, yeah. and also the problems of the present of the Republic of Ghana, we see that we have to be a role model. Yeah. We have to show in the uh, exemplary leadership quality, as in, even though we are not in government. We are not a government. Yeah, government. But we are not. We are not a government. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. As a party, we Why? are not a government. Let me make this point. Why clear. are you not a government? We you want to change the narrative. No. The party and the government are totally different. But that is that is that is not possible, and that's what not what we are seeing now. That's what I'm saying. You said that we are we are very much right to do that. To that. But Everywhere we want to separate the well, government I, I from the party. Are you succeeding? We are succeeding. No, the, we are succeeding. Now, let me tell you one example. Yes. Who? What is the Political council in the NPP now. Political council are politicians. No, what is the political? There is a structure called political council. Those, those are politicians, they are not civil servants. 
Who is Musajeng? Musajeng is a producer because he's appointed. It's not a. He's not an advisor. He's not. He's not advisor for. All for, advisory for, role. All this advisory for, appointment. Let me just tell you one now thing. Now listen carefully. He's been paid to advise the president for youth affairs. Let me tell you one thing. Is the ministers are not paid from yes. the cover? Yes. Are they not producers? No. We, we, no, 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 no. Let me just. We have to be clear. No, no, listen. We have to clarify here. Listen. Ministers are paid from our national cover. Yes. And they are producers. They can attend political rally and talk and, and, and just speak political rhetoric freely. Mm. Without discussions. So therefore the advice is They have advisors can do it. All these are political uh, positions. If Barrow goes today, nobody can attend this advice. So why are they you? Are boy, they are so, boy. so how are you distinguishing them? As a government from the NPP when they are also government mm. employees and NPP officials. That's what I want to tell you. Ah, we are the simple, simple outing the, 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 the what is the distinction? What is the distinction? You are simple outing, outing mm. the, the advices. Or you are you are you are, yes, you are eliminating them. They are totally different. Advices or are you are different. eliminating them. I want to tell you one thing so that you understand. No, what I want to If you see a secretary general, what I want to understand. Or permanent secretary mm. uh, 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 partaking in a rally, political rally of NPP, mm. then there is a mutual. A civil, a poor civil servant, a poor civil servant partaking in our appeal, that's a mutual. That's a mutual. That's a mutual. Yeah. It, do, it doesn't happen. Or it, it, it doesn't happen. Ah, okay. Okay, but if, if you see advisors, yeah. ministers, some other political appointees, then those no, that's, are that's that's in our political camp. That's, that's acceptable. It's acceptable. Mm. It's so acceptable. they have been, they have paid to promote the agenda of the N NPP. He's, he's prerogative. President can hire as much as he need as, as an advisor. Yeah, have a comment. He can hire. Yeah, I mean, as far as ministers are concerned, that's very clear. Uh, I have, I always had a, a question about the role of the minister, uh, the advisors, the advisors mm. uh, because it's still not clear. Although uh, they are political appointees, should they be political appointees? That's the question, right? Because if you're talking about advising anybody on any given uh, thematic area, you expect that they would have an expertise in, in that area. So I'm not clear on their their. their their mode of appointment. I'm not clear about who they serve, the people or the president. And I'm sure we have had it, we well, had this discussion the before. They are, hard, they are hard more loudly in NPP affairs than their official ones. We didn't see. Let me ask you what happens. <laughs> you know, that's what in, in Constitution, they only say it's really the prerogative of the president to hire an advisor, both in and out. There's a lot of advisors that maybe silence advisors don't never hear. Power secretaries are advisors. National Assembly uh, is advice uh, is playing advisory rule. Huh? But and all but, and all hidden advisors they, that you never but they don't So do as it is now and all and all hidden advisors that you never hear. But they don't hold positions in NPP. But, but what I'm saying, mm -hmm. the advisors that you are hearing mm -hmm. loud in loud in every day and night mm -hmm. is their job. Ah, it's a job to be that, Yes, to NPP and there is no law that barred them from partaking any political activities in this country. So if there's any what's, rebel, what's your position, on rebel? Mr. 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 Cham, you see, people are very much aware. The level of awareness is at a very high rate, and I don't think gone are those days where people will say whatsoever and believing that people actually will accept or people will adhere to what you are really saying. Because um, seeing the political landscape in this country, you don't have to be told, I don't have to be told, everything is an open secret. And people get to know everything that is moving on, in and out. What Mr. Dampa is saying is very simple. The government, or the NPP, let's put it as a government, because to me that's how I would classify it. They are one and the same. Moving around, having their structures being put, and of course, while COVID-19, there are restrictions governing or guiding COVID-19. That does not really tell well about the government. And like I said before, it's a lack of unseriousness that we are talking about. Here, it does not matter. Other political parties, they have their structures well before. Okay? And it is the government. It's just not a lip service thing. But you have to lead by sample. No matter what, even whereas some political parties out there, embark on such having their structure being formed then i will have expect the government to deceive themselves out of that or to, to distance themselves from performing such as long as they are the one who formulated the, the regulation governing COVID 19. to me my opinion is just that they want to have the criteria met as long as IEC is concerned because it's a requirement that all political parties they need to have their structures okay. but it's not about 
them having UDP supporters, sympathizers, militants being chairman in their NPP, they really have influence over other people joining the NPP. That is not the case. Mr. Tiam, you are a journalist. Of course, we know I am a politician. Anything that is happening from the UDP come, the GDC come, and whatever come, we get to know about it. And those individuals that he is referring to, that they are from the UDP, come joining the NPP, being chosen, elected, whatever, they call, uh, they, uh, whatever time they use at their level, those individuals, to me, in my opinion and my observation, they have no influence over the other people that were actually in the UDP. If that was the case, then we will get to know about it. And the most important thing, Mr. Damfa, you see, the government and the National Assembly, of course, we must work hand in hand. And that is why we are performing oversight. We are not an advisor or advisory board or whatever you call it to the president. We are an oversight function. And whatever that we feel it is not going in the right direction, we have a divided committees that are actually performing oversight. I, to the I want to also, I mean, I find that very problematic, especially when you say the government and then the National Assembly. I think the National Assembly is also the government, mm. and your role is not just an oversight mm. to serve as an oversight. You play an equal role uh, to that of the executive, albeit a different role from the executive. Mm. Okay. So I, I think it's important that I, even from a National yes. Assembly pers uh, point of view, you really embrace your role in that sense. Let's go to this the And not see now. yourself uh, as subordinates to the we executive. We have very little time left, and I want to go down to the next battle area. Uh, mm. and, and I think the battle lines have been drawn now for the Nyamina West constituency uh, by election, which is still uh, not yet settled uh, after the postponement due to COVID. Um, let's hear from the NPP. Um, when you went around putting up your structures, surely you must have worked on um, preparations for the Nyamina West. What is the update? Thank you very much. Um, you know, it's, uh, I just want to refer, one second, you refer to refer my colleague here. Well, we have yes. exhausted that. We are now uh, on Nyamina. You know the incident around Bruna, the appointment of the Ombudsman, mm -hmm. when they rejected Suare, mm -hmm. they advised the government mm -hmm. of the subsequent appointment, how it, it goes to. Mm -hmm. They rejected him, mm -hmm. Suare, mm -hmm. based on criteria that he failed to meet. And they, they write a written document to the president to advise him the next one will be passed. But do this, do this, do this, do this. We, we capitalize on and we correct it. And they eventually pass. So if we say that they are not advising the president, that would be uh, confusing here. Okay, so let's, that's why I want to refer you to okay, that. Let's so go they, they correct it. So now you are telling me something. Yes, I'm, I'm asking <laughs> we you. are ever ready. I told you this, not today. <laughs> we are ever ready. Even right now, today, 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 when they say by election, we will take the seat. You, you Smoothly. Mm -hmm. Yes, because why? Well, just tell us the preparation. Yes, we already prepared. Mm. You have now a this level, you have a candidate. We have our, we have our candidate, we're not going to name it now. You've already got a candidate. We've already got our candidate since day one. Okay. That the seat was declared vacant. We have our candidate already. Okay. We okay. are very prepared. Okay. You know, you know. Uh, let me tell you the secret of NPP. Mm -hmm. This party have been working for so long, for how many, how many, more than two years now. So you've been Undercover. saying... Undercover. So you been, Undercover. So, you, so you've been saying that... Undercover all, party. So you've, been, tell you level, you've been saying, as has been alleged by the UDP people, that yes. Mr. Barrow has been working on betraying the UDP a long time ago. Since you've seen the betrayal from their camp, ah, we yes. have a political support wing. Ah, yes. Which is uh, <laughs> Barrow, Barrow, uh, Barrow, oh, Barrow Fans Club. So there have been... Which is Barrow Fans Club. So there have been schemers from both camps who have been scheming on... On, Ross, on, yes. on, on splitting the two a long yes. time ago. You know the we problem I have with NPP let also. Me, let me come here. The problem I have with you guys... No, no, no. I will come you. I will give you the opportunity. Is that... Every time, every time we see something happening with your camp and people call it, uh, call it out, you deny it. Mm -hmm. You sit here and persistently deny it. For example, when the fans club first came up, people said, this is a route going to be a yes. becoming a political yes. party. Yes. And yes. they have denied it yes. so many times yes. and it came to reality. Yes. And every time we say something, we call something yeah. out, you deny yeah. it, okay. but it comes to be... Isn't uh, that deceitful? Let, let, let me come. Isn't it deceitful? Uh, you know, I just want to give you a very... A, a very um, Breathing space, a live platform here. Mm -hmm. I never deny Barrow Fans Club being a political support group for the president. I never deny that one. In any of my platform, go go to your archive and check. Your all guys, I, your guys I, always say it's a civil society. society. The all say, say, not you, the official language was no, 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 all what, not a all what we Even his ordinary all supporters. Let me all what we deny is Barrow Youth for National Development. Well, where is that now? 
That's what I'm saying. They are still existing. Where? They are existing. They have their headquarters. You can okay. visit them. Or you can go to the Secretary General of State, Akiba Lang. You what? can invite him. What? And what? all the instructors are there. What? They are doing their activities. <laughs> they, are they are doing their activities. What I'm saying, what I was saying, mm. and I'm going to stick to it today, today. Mm. Baro Pan's Club was a political support group for the president. That's why we have all these chairman, the company from UDP. They all maintain their position there. Since Unanya was the was the first club chairman since day one, and we all know that he's an open civilist and he's a protester. Lamgian is the same thing, unlike Bangul, Babukanke, and others. So all these people are renowned politicians. They seek their allegiance from UDP to, to Baroka. Long time. You said, so two, we fought, you said they were undercover. Long we, time. We fought. It's not about undercover. You, you said it, for two years. We made it. We made it very very public. We made it public. We it's a super political support group. We have having political activities, political rallies. We met so many rallies, even the rally that I can at Bikama. It was organized by a block, fans block in Bikama. It was strictly political. That, that was recent. You said it's not recently. Years ago. It's not recently. You said you have been walking this yes. behind since, the background since two, two years, years ago. ago yeah. We formed this movement. This borough you for you a borough fans block. Okay? You know, we are working on the structures. Okay. The time that we already capitalized and we go we conclude our conclude our so it was just after one year in the coalition that you people started working uh, to form the Barrow Youth Movement and then no, fight. No, 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 you never, said three years, you said two years ago. We never, we the, we never, the coalition we, government we, is three years I'm old. I'm not aware even the Barrow Movement, Barrow Youth Movement was mm. been established mm. or been registered. I'm not even aware of it. Okay. And I never speak on their behalf. Okay. Did you hear me? Standing in your room, <laughs> speak on their own Barrow Youth Movement. Because I know. Me as a protester. <laughs> okay. Those people, what they said, okay. they registered us like an NGO, mm -hmm. non political entity. Okay. That's what they is in their uh, certificate of uh, incorporation. What have we but for been... me, I will never belong to any group that is a political. I'm a protester. What have so I never, I never, I never take, uh, take part in any so, way. So for you, you but don't. Fan club, you don't play fan club, neutrality. You just come no, to the point. No, I'm, I'm, on, I'm on the point. Yeah. Fan club, strictly for politics. The, this fan club that was um, transformed to MPP. So our structures have been there since day one of our establishment. From flag level, ward level, constituencies level, regional level. Now the regional um, executive, that what we formalize yes. and we transfer all the data and we ask for this data issue. Uh, you know, yes, and, the, and okay. also the national executive will be uh, come to. You have also been accused of uh, promoting. Uh, how to call it, corruption or fraud in ab obtaining ID card. You, you've been accused at one of, the, one of your rallies, you know, your people offered even to help people acquire ID card instead of them working straight to the immigration. What is the job of the NPP to help people get no, ID I, card? That's I, the immigration. I, I think yeah, it's a little bit confusion here. No, that's what you're accused The lady of. that you were talking about, the, 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 the body, I think it's Ojo's rally. I, mm -hmm. I have the body help me. Yeah. She said, because there's a lot of, there's a huge gathering that day. There's a, a woman couple that a Huge gathering. No, 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 social, no, no social distancing. But we, we have been talking about it. Go to the mosque now. Go to the markets. So, oh. Yeah, go there. So Mr. So, Cise is what, now right. Go there. And, no, and, Mr. and then one, and then listen, also, Mr. Mr. Cise, listen, listen, video, listen. Video okay, of that get rid of Mr. Cise then is right to say that perhaps the government uh, really, we are keen on easing some restrictions so that they can carry out political activities. No, 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 no. They can not do that without justifiably letting the mosques. No, 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 no. It's not, a, it's not about that. Even that video. You said there was a hit crowd. Yes, yes. And the lady you, was, you, and the lady you, was saying that they will yeah, help. You ask me to come. Now, ask you, They will help people acquire. Say it all. Say it all. Why? No, no, no. You say it. Okay. Answer your question. No, that's, that's your response. I'm saying yeah, what, you what you, you, what you, you mean, and you this is a confusion that is not even only you. Maybe okay. you are not confused. You know everything. Yes. But you want our viewers and audience to have a clear view. Yeah, but what? I can just do it now. Let's first establish what has been said. Good. The lady said. And that meeting, yeah. huge crowd, but that's, that, according to the video that I've seen, that was so as I have seen, and, uh, based on their executive uh, uh, setting up, the executive uh, care setting up, yeah. that's a distance. Yeah. All right? Coming up to coming to the to the to the audio, mm. there was a lot of um, people who just said that at that meeting crowd mm -hmm. that they want to acquire voters uh, national energy card, mm. but based on the financial constraints, some of them could not achieve, mm. could not be able to obtain one. Mm. So in her response to that question, that's why she said we are working on formulating a database so that we know how many women can force. Wanted to work with us because we have a lot of people.
even me, my area. But see, this CSC party is willing to help them. No, 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 yes. That's, but, the, that's in the audio. That's what I'm coming up. Is that not promoting That's what I am coming up. Yes. She was saying that the party, at the party level, Lamin said he is an NPP member. Yeah. He is an ID expert. Who will, will come to formulate will help the them database? Knowledge. That's a, would help them acquire ID cards. That's what I'm coming up. Now, 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 that's not the job of politicians to help people. You know, people let, must be qualified first as citizens, let, 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 and then they get ID card. Voters card, yes, I can understand. Don't, don't get it. Don't that get one, it. that's the don't, job of the politicians. Don't get it confused. What do you make Even of Even voters card, the, voters, voters card itself, mm -hmm. it's not a job of politicians to acquire, to, to make people to have it. Voters card? Yes. No, no politicians can... That's a can, procedure. No, no, but, but, no, no, but the politicians... Most, free, and that one is a free, free of time. But the politician more, is... More different from ID card. No, I, I want to... A politician is free now. No, then we cannot understand each other now. We cannot understand each other. I'm just putting you what the critics... No, 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 no. What the critics is. But you don't listen to me, let me clarify. Okay, okay clarify. The kind of help she is trying to portray. Yes. That's what I wanted to tell you. Yes, what is If somebody wants to want to have all the necessary documents. Yes. I have my birth certificate. Yes. I have my parents' documents. Yes. But me, mm. I don't have money in my pocket. Yes. And when I go to queue at the uh, immigration center, or oh, where they acquire this national aspect, I don't have money. I didn't go to the case of I have all the documents intact without money. Are they going to give it to me? Okay, so you're saying. No, 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 no. Let's, are they money? going to give it to me? No, no, I'm, let's, let's make it. No, just ask them my question. Because you don't have money in your pocket. She's suggesting they will help them with money. No, that's what I want to establish. That's okay. I, wanted, I want to listen okay. attentively so that our viewers will be, they also have a clue over what we are saying here. Okay. So this is the scenario. Yeah. The, the lady is saying, yeah, we'll help them because you said that you, you have a financial constraint. Mm. You have 10 people, or 20 people, or 5 people, mm. who just want, and they cannot, you didn't your couple. Mm. Now, as other fact, also couple have 10 people. Yeah. Lamjam couple have 5 people. Yeah. We have to bring a database, mm. so that we know how many people within our land who need support financially. Mm. Then we work on that on a party level okay. to, to secure funds for those people to go and register. That's what the system is trying to portray. Ima, what do you make of this? That's what the system is to portray. I mean... In the past, difficult. even the Jawaras regime, we have we have had party members, you know, directly involving I mean, ordinarily. And, and mobilizing people to get to acquire national ID cards, national documents, sometimes dubiously even, just to supplement their numbers to get registered. And we are finding the same thing again. No, it's not the same thing. Ordinarily. Well, well, it's not the same thing. We, we, are not, we are not flouting the rules. We are not flouting when, the rules. We are not saying that you, when you, when you, you go there and lose your influence. To suppress the officer in charge at the ground without the candidate having a, a substantial documents, only to force him to register your. your, your, your all the more reason the IEC is looking for. We are not doing that. The, 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 the IEC is looking for powers under the new constitution to be the shoulder authority to determine who is qualified to get a voter scan. Exactly. So I just want to mention that ordinarily, and this is just a personal opinion, ordinarily, if you have uh, Gambians who are not able to acquire. Gambian national documents because they don't have the money to do so. Mm. We can have individuals, philanthropists, groups coming to their aid. Mm. But the reason why people can be apprehensive with political parties doing so, especially political parties that are very close to the authorities, yeah. is the possibility that they can actually influence the process. And by influencing the process, they can flout uh, the, the, the way that things are supposed to be done. And that's what we have witnessed from Jawara's regime, from yeah, President Jamis' regime, regime, and so on and so forth. And now, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Exactly. I know so your that's point. And no, we have clarified that you yeah. meant. I know your fear. You meant. Really, no, it's now a sort of. It's not just financial. It's not any no, it is, to flout the rules. Because the history is there. You have, you have all your so The point, point is, was just offering Because the history is there. Because the history is there. That is what. No, the history is there. And the history is not just peculiar to Gambia, it's an African problem where we use. This kind yeah, of activities, patronage, so it shouldn't was, happen. I'm just going to say it shouldn't happen. Yeah, she was just offering the fight. When you know that people, we offer that money, let them go. Mm. And we don't want to accompany any of them. You go with your documents. If you are rejected, they are based on, you don't have qualified uh, documents. What do you make of it, uh, Honorable Mr. Mr. Cham, you see, the essence of this debate is to allow individuals, that's why we are all invited, to allow individuals to express what they feel. Um, um, what is happening actually as part of the discussion. And in a debate, you don't force people to accept. You convince individuals to accept what you are saying with a fact base. And with all the brew ha ha that is ongoing, it does not necessarily mean that at the end of the day, I have to accept uh, what one has to say if they are not really convincing. And looking at it being a political uh, party, as long as Nyamina West is concerned, 
I stand by my words and this I have been saying all along. For the NPP, I am not actually counting them because up to now, even Mr. Dampha, who is a core supporter of the NPP, cannot ascertain or cannot read their popularity as long as their party is concerned. Because in politics, if you want to actually calculate or ascertain the popularity of a particular political party, then you have to recall from the past, from the election cycle. And in any way, they have never involved into any uh, form of election. And they are coming into their first trial, which they are going to fall, of course, woefully, because that will be their end. I will have expect them to reserve <laughs> themselves until we get to the presidency and they see what actually they can capture there. But as soon as they fail in this upcoming by election, meaning NPP is dead and gone. That I can assure you. And of course, we have other by elections that are coming, and hopefully, in become also there might one if things actually materialize as UDP planned. But the fact of the matter is, NPP, Nyamene is, there is just one unfortunate issue. You see, in a government, you don't help people, of course, based on politics, especially when you are in government. There are certain things that are ongoing there, that are happening, certain developments that the NPP, or the government, I will call it, are doing there. These are things that the people of Nyamene West have been complaining all day long. They have been complaining for almost 50 years ago. And the NPP, when they, the government, when they came into being, these are the same problems the people of Nyamene West have been complaining. And now that there was no political party as long as Baro is concerned, and now that Baro, they constitute their own political party, we have seen them doing certain things in Nyamene West just to win the upcoming by-election. Mm. And the people, the people will tell you this. If you go there, they will tell you this. Mm. The Barrow Farm Club or whatever they call it, NPP, Barrow Youth Movement, they are coming up with certain things, development. And we have been complaining some of these things. They heard about it. They never come to our aid. And now that here is a vacancy, here is a position, there will be a by-election. And now they are coming up with all these things. We don't need them if that is the case. <laughs> they will tell you this. It's not my words. Well, most governments, yeah. of course, will, 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 of course, bring in new projects because they are help, hoping that they exactly. get but, the people's voice. Yeah, but what I am saying, what I am just trying to emphasize, whether my government or any other government that is coming, we must begin to tell people the truth. Me, that's my principle. In as much as the government is concerned, loan, grant, whatever you call it, as long as it is coming from the government, we must let the people know that it's yours. When it is a loan, you are either going to pay or you, the next generation will going to pay. It is, if this is something that is coming from the budget, yeah. the, our own resources, then so, we must understand so, that it is so coming. You mean, so you mean all of a sudden they are earmarking projects for the country? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Never. He will tell because you this. Because of course they are hoping. He will tell you they this. They are hoping to win the people over for the Of over. course. Yeah. Mr. Dunford will tell you this. But it's I am saying typical. this. This typical, typical of African government. Yeah. So, okay. All these projects that they are Mr. trying to implement. Mr. Tampa, you cannot deny that. <laughs> why, why suddenly Nyamina is when others... Exactly. Whether you, whether you, whether is, you have, is the same reason you, why our electricity poles are just lying poles down there? Yeah, and other places. I don't yeah. Is it the same government tactics? Let, 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 me, say, let me just complete oh, this. Okay, okay. Yeah, what I am saying, Nyamina West is a GDC base. That I have been saying. And there is no doubt that we are going to secure the seat at the end of the day. Yeah. Because, as I said earlier, Nyamino West, right from the onset, mm. and I will always ask Dunfa, the president, and all their supporters to go back to Jimara mm. and convince those individuals to support them first before they can before convince. They yes, before they can convince other individuals. In other him, the man is saying that you go even, yeah, even the president, even the president's own home. You cannot, you cannot, you are not a sort of victory there, let alone elsewhere. You know, I'm not talking about Jimara. I'm talking about Yamina. Yeah, that's a very so by What is the bone of contention at the moment? Mm. Uh, what I wanted to. Uh, so uh, now there's uh, a lot of, plan move, plan a lot of movement of plants and, you, and other me, things because. If you allow me, yeah. President Barrow is elected by a mm. to serve their interests. Yes. Which include Yamina, Yamina West. And other parts of the country. And other parts of the country. Mm. If, if everybody. He, he made mention here. He just made it very clear that they've been crying for those developments. Mm. For so long. Yeah, but now Maybe they are, they are, they are, it's not their, their, their tongue was not, was, was, <laughs> but, was but now that the virus is coming, the tongue has come. It's not about Very convenient. We've been doing, <laughs> we've been doing things for a lot of constituencies. <laughs> but yes. do you, we are not having a virus on there. Do you agree So that? what I'm saying, no, he, he already, I've been listening to him. It's now their tongue. Let him listen to me. Okay, it's 
Now they are torn. Yeah, because my hands are coming. And they are poor as can in their pocket. <laughs> they are torn. We will never go down and say, go and vote me by force. Because we are going to use your own body. I, mean, I, think, to, I think my man is trying there. to induce no, them with go trying to induce them with government what projects. I to, what I want to maybe, maybe maybe other areas are really bad in need of whatever exactly. you know, you know, you know, government is about people. Government is about people. Government is about people. <laughs> Listen to the outcome of people. Yeah. And talk to their age. <laughs> Especially if there's election is coming. And Monday is still is still on. Especially if election is still going. No no no. Boris Monday is still on. Okay. It's not yet finished. Okay. So you can just um try to approve any development any area at any given time before end of this Monday. I just and now, if we include this, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but my man, I think he's very scared. Yeah. I think before, you know, before you go to uh, 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 Jimara, oh. you have, you should have, your, you build your team. Uh. Before you uh, go to the Noveta, at least you start with the test matches. Uh. So our test match is in Yamina. Uh, yes. We we will win the test match. And you are and time, you are playing against and you proceed to and the, you are, to the, to the and you are playing. And, we, and we, you are playing, you are playing against the defending champion. The defending champion. <laughs> then you, you, you want to test yourself. That's what they said. Test yourself with the defending champion. So you want to destroy so it. So if you conquer that one, uh -huh. then the smaller one will know that here this is a signal. Uh -huh. What? Is, so <laughs> so that's signal why. to them. So that's why. Uh, let them be. Let that's them why take from, you. Take you. Let them not take you. That's, that's, that's why from now on, you know, there will be a lot of inducement of government mm -hmm. projects and everything. Mm -hmm. Now, it's, it's ongoing. Mm -hmm. We started in Basi. We started in Basi. Since the advent of this dispensation. We said in the basket. But no. and now we are but why to move it? It? Why suddenly? No, what I'm saying. No, what I'm saying. I have a no, question. No, let me just uh, land here. Mr. Dampa. Mr. Dampa. <laughs> we started in basket. People are full of them. That is full of them. Before Dampa. We started in basket. And Fulu is there. They are part of all that stuff. You don't say the minister is giving tractors and power fillers. Finally. I have one silly question though. Finally, you come between them now. Yeah. Defray the tension. I'm about myself. I'm about myself. Defray the tension now. Let me know my man. He's scared. So, so kill yourself. Yeah, but can you defray the tension we go? Exactly. I just yes. want to know that since since these developments are coming in tons, when is going to be Kian's turn? Like <laughs> really, finally, when? You know, you know, Kian. Well, Kian, Kian, Kian now is the a stadium is been Kian, a stadium is uh, been uh, inaugurated there. As we speak, a stadium is laying up the foundation of a stadium. Mm -hmm. a seven, a seven million dollars. But a do we need it? <laughs> you need it. We need electricity more. And, 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 there. and there's no by election coming there. Yeah. There's no by <laughs> And despite that all the rumbling, all the word that we're hearing from Kiang, you know, many people are just saying that Kiang is the opposition stronghold. We never mind. And yeah, what you are to the visa if you don't who want the pharmacy, who must have That will never happen again. Why we are not doing that? We have the money to serve. So you only build you you, you just Our intend to are not building a product. You intend to build a stadium? Yes. We are yet to we see. Stadium. Yeah. We are, okay, we, we, are yet, we are yet to see more projects that we need. The employments that need to come, you know. The employment? The, 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 the company is entirely care. <laughs> this company is entirely care. What do you want? The, the smaller, smaller region, six constituency. No, I mean within all the region all itself. The, all the heavyweights in the government are from Elana. I mean the, within in the region itself. Problem. We have more than 200,000 vote in West Coast Okay, I've said my own. Okay. We have more than 300,000 vote in West Coast How many ministers do we have? Okay. And how many compared to Kiel and Ghana? Maybe you would like How many of them? Maybe you would like to Where do you think there are the entire government is Kiel? There are, there are, no. Within the government is Kiel. I mean, within, within the region itself. Finally, yeah. finally, what do you make Giddy? And your projects are coming. You see yeah. the ABCD is, is there. And also the, the, road, the, road, the road project is called Sankandi. Sankandi is always going to be in. Finally. And also the stadium is there. Finally. Okay. Okay. Yes. Finally, <laughs> NPP and GDC, what do you make of the emergence of uh, new political parties? In the, uh, I mean, especially in the Congo, there's... Gano, well, there was gap, of course, with the candidate from Combo. What do you make of it? Uh, for my own turn, mm. I am uh, listening to some of the audience of the Senate Opposition Party. Okay. They are crying foul of being of British, uh, coming into being all this political party. Uh -huh. They say it's been chanting them. They want to diminish their, you know, performance because uh -huh. some of these supporters from this opposition might be they may think that they are not in for battle, but they may have sympathizers from the opposition camp or the opposition camp. Mm. So they may slice from slice from them. But they must last the, 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 the number. But the, the number number but, from. But the new parties did not say also that they are supporting Barrow. They wouldn't have. No, no, no. We party. don't even we are not even talking. You know, what is your reaction? Some, some of these parties, some of these parties, mm -hmm. they are coming into being because they have a uh, logic. You know, parties about it's all about logic. Okay. They might think that maybe if this new constitution is coming to be in next election, mm -hmm. 2021, if there is no absolute majority, mm -hmm. like uh, 50 percent in force now, then second round you can come on, you, you, you invite all of them on the table. 
But, but and they also, they also forthcoming with their interest. What is so maybe they can be appointed as ministers. So, so, so as maybe that, that is their that right. is their plan. As far as but for us, as far as NPP is concerned, right. we stick to our seventy five percent. We are not moving an inch. Mm. Maybe eighty. Why even six uh, seventy percent now? It's failure. Mm. We are not threatening or irritated by coming of these new political parties. Maybe in the opposition camp, they might feel embarrassed. GDC, finally, GDC, finally, he is predicting 75% a landslide victory for President Barrow. Is he dreaming? <laughs> that is just um, <laughs> things that he, it's just a lip service. I will put it that way. Or a figment of his imagination. Exactly. Oh, there you go. Um, well, he is part of the NPP is part of the new parties that you are of course talking about mm. because they are never they, in they don't consider themselves new they said they've been operating behind this of two course years they are ago. all yes. to me all these political parties that are upcoming and they never involved into any election process I knew, I, I knew. you think they are all equal exactly they are and all equal, NPP, equal strength of course NPP is part of them mm. well it's a right mm. that any individual, if you have the requirements, as long as the IEC Act is concerned, then so be it. You can open your political party. But at the end of the day, what do you aim to achieve and what do you, how do you intend to help the most vulnerable people is the most important thing as long as I am concerned. And the Gambian people will decide. Any individual that they feel that is the best person to represent the people and to better utilize the taxpayers' money, why not, if not to elect that individual and the people of the game? It's not about me, it's not about him, but it's about the people out there. Because my vote alone cannot make any individual win, or Dunfall's vote alone cannot make anybody win. But at the end of the day, the majority of the people will decide. They are here, we will all hear from them. And at the end of the day, what we are told, then we will get to vote from the uh, uh, information we obtain from each of these individuals. But I know as long as these parties are concerned and the GDC is concerned, we are moving towards that direction, helping the most vulnerable people, which the NPP, in fact, in government or the government is even unable to do up to now. Because looking at the number of developments, projects, number of supports, and how really we are helping the most vulnerable people. Even the government is yet to okay. do some of these things. I, I have to leave Nima have the final say, otherwise I would, uh, you know, I would just be caught up in coming to you and coming over to you. Nima, the new political parties, uh, are in, they in disagreement with Barrow and the other parties, or they're just on fishing expedition? I think the only reason, I mean, if from a professional point of view, uh, if not just that people want to establish political parties for the sake of it, I would expect that any political parties that comes that comes up does so because they feel like there's a gap uh, among all the political parties that exist. They feel they're adding value. They're they're bringing something new. Mm -hmm. So uh, based on that, I, I hope that that is the case, and I hope that they can offer alternatives to, to voters. Uh, I think the only reason people are worried about more political parties coming up is because of the, the personalization, the fact that individuals are closely associated with their parties, and parties become individuals, and therefore there is not much relevance to it if it is just about the individual, if it's not offering uh, what, has already, what is not already available. And the fact that it if the absolute majority comes into play, we might end up with coalitions rather than one party being voted in yeah. by the majority. Yeah. And For the our experience with co coalitions, we exactly. have seen how it, it turns out. Well, that's about it. Yeah, yeah. For what? For the, for, the, for the NPP they, and Barrow, we have already a, know what they, they are capable of doing. The hammer, the hammer is down. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we draw the coding on the brunch uh, this uh, Saturday. Until we come back your way okay, again, goodbye.
Boy, Janno Circus Restaurant. Yes, I know who is in the Dimbal. Number Domoro Kara Janno. Domoro Seneata, Adiata, Topotoro, Fanan Kendama Bije. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijani, Adimanda Walade, Takawe Bijele, Anim Pananka Padijang, Ukono Efa. Eka for Minoko Pestri and in Bakery, Uko Fanan Bekalil. Badé lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fo fe ni lo dunia ko no domoro betama ni lom international oti wada number 1 amanke ba domo la jang dama e sa domo jang is atariya a wo mu ku bandi sa na ko sa futandi e oto sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant daba na jang na mu yat ni manje do rombi jang aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction Miss V Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and a lot more. us at Kololini Road opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good.
Wow. Fun, la? Skin care, la? 2020, la? Wow. Fin of my care, fun, care zero tash. Perfect skin. Skin care, sa sunerek problem skin skin. Yen ham yen fun la. Fin yen dunyo. Um, suma haridiek am di jamay. Yen ham the task da fling sun alone. Ham the don hassle del la ka hum. In a moment, like, why just in case? Come, Nico, guide your head. Anka, just in case, Lord help. Ham yen ping yen dunyo, ping yen dunyo. Skin care plus. Si you bahrek lanyo dona, ay bah bahrek. Funi lanyo dem chiru mi diling indirect na products you bah. Do Paris, do Italy, do USA, ah? Do fun nek ni sa? Bole ling chi nak Sweden. Fun nek lanyo na ili products. Budi tami nak danga new rig new la ija ma, ah? Natural beauty, that melanin dripping. We do have stuff for you as well. And when you skin care products like nyong chichu vitamin, ah, uh, funen nyong yar. In fact, sa last commercial bing the phone, wohun len wohun nyong doki ay kawar. Nine A grade, right? Nak wow. We do have bundles as well. Hair. Siro nyong len yong dok. Nyong nyong kita fatal jigen rek. Literal jigen rek. Wow. Wohun nyong doki vitamin. Bugu on that classic suitcase. Nyong the nyong doki ay Samsonite. Bing the in the any brown of suitcases though other than Samsonite. Come lima day wohun Bo Ege Airport, Dri Samsonite, the Amnula Holly. Wow. Gendala neck, wow. Um skin, Chimumli you gena hame next skin care products, Chimumli you gena hame, you get doctor mid bentate mid si aidala, man why man next skin care moist my specialty. I'm gonna take in Busa Harkanam Regle, Lord of Mujak. I mean um Patricia Reiner, Kiwi I the whole range, lighten up gold. Um, tomatine, I mean, the list can just go on and on and on and on. Lipo lo hane reglu yi taril jigin la, ki yo yu reglu yi nyodok. Skin care plus nek, emu yin si Gambia rek, nyungo United States, nyungi Gambia fi, bepare, bude yangi anywhere in Europe, mune yi laku mail. Within three days rek, nyeti fan rek, nga jot sa yi diw. Emu yin si lo rek, den la consult tami. Bala nyi la jay diw, then they have a free consultation for what they know exactly what they are going to do with their hands. Then they know what they are going to do. Perfumes, you know, fragrances, men's shirts, accessories. We do do dresses as well. We do blouses. I mean, we do shoes. Name it, we do them. Skin Care Plus 2020 is our year of perfection. Zero task. Who make any real me fit? Can what if I task? Can what if I am problem with canam? Can what if I am problem with picture? Boka amen of fake and erect new law. Keep last with fee.